Hey, a uh, little trick. Hope you're doing well. I don't want to work out today. Came in here literally seven minutes ago. Like, I don't want to do this. I had to drag myself in here. I actually found myself in here by accident. Look, if you're waking up today and you're not feeling it, I'm not talking about workouts either. Whatever it is, going to work, making a call, cleaning up something that you had to clean up, handling some problem that you have, and you're waking up feeling a little depressed, kind of down. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Just don't quite feel it. Everybody expects me to be up all the time, thinks I'm supposed to, you know, be Mr. 10X, Mr. 100% every day. That is never the case, never. So look, if you're running to this channel for the first time, subscribe to it. I'm gonna share three things that I do to get me through this. And make sure you comment or like. I'm building this channel out. I spent the last 10 years building it out with content material of things that I'm discovering in my life and in my business in hopes that it will help people. And I don't have all the right answers. I just want you to know like 40% of the time I'm wrong. Maybe a little more than that actually. Even, I just gotta be right on the big things, you know? And one thing that, that has helped me whether it was writing a book and finishing it or starting my speaking career when I did it 30 years old. I was going door to door to businesses around America for 3 million miles. Go to a city, I was living in Houston at the time, in Bel Air, Texas, and I'd fly to Salt Lake City and I'd call on business owners. I'd set a, an event two weeks in advance, commit to the hotel, fly to Salt Lake City, knew no one, no one knew me, I had no name, no books, uh, there was no social media, and I never felt like doing it, I was scared to death, had no clue what I was doing, didn't know who I was calling on, don't even know how much I believed in what I was doing, like, I did believe in it, but it was like, you know, I didn't have any statistics or facts or success stories. <clears throat> and regardless of how I felt, just like this morning, regardless of how much doubt there was or uncertainty, uh, fear, no matter who you're watching or who you're following, whether it's a political person, uh, a rapper, movie star, teacher, coach, parents, I don't care how much in confidence they put out, how much athlete, how much confidence or certainty that they push out, push out, like, like project, they wake up. There's days they wake up and they don't feel it. They don't feel it. They don't, they don't want to do it. They're uncertain. Uh, they're feeling some low grade depression, whatever you want to call it. Look, I woke up like that this morning. I went, got up, family's not here this weekend. Uh, Elena's got the kids. She's teaching them how to shoot guns this weekend. And uh, I'm here by myself. So I'm waking up this morning like, I don't want to work out. I missed yesterday. I'm not feeling it. So what do you do? What do you guys do when you don't feel it? So this is what I do. I just get a little closer. This is what I do. I get a little closer, just like I did when I was 30 years old, starting my speaking career. Never thought I'd be one of the top, considered one of the top two or three speakers in the world when I was 30 years old. I wanted that, but I didn't know how I was gonna get to that. And what I did was when I was having to fly to these cities, Salt Lake City, Winnipeg, Saskatoon, Toronto, uh, Vancouver, Chicago, New York, like, I had never even been to these places. I was literally flying to cities for the first time in my entire career. Didn't know the language, didn't know the, the culture, didn't know how they, they those little changes in, they, that happened between Toronto and New York, New York and Chicago, Chicago and Dallas, and Dallas and Salt Lake, Salt Lake and LA. Those are all very, very different markets and different people and different thinking. 
I was terrified. Okay, I'm doing this today to tell you I was terrified. I was so scared most of the time that it felt like not fear, it felt like depression. Like I wanted to take the, fly, the, the, the sheets, just pull them over my head. So what I did to conquer that, to handle that, I literally would just get a little closer. I'd get myself a little closer to the action. Like this morning, I just got close to the gym. I actually went and walked by the pool. I have a pool in the same spot that we have a gym on the second floor here. And I walked out there and as I passed the gym, because they're still doing the social distancing bullshit here. Um, there was nobody in here. I'm like, okay, there's nobody in here. It's a sign I'm gonna go in there and work out, okay? So number one, just try getting a little closer to the action. Hope that helps you. Just get a little closer. You don't have to commit to doing it completely. Just get closer to it. I came down here dressed. Uh, I, put that, I put that on before I left, so I was ready. So I got a little closer. Second thing, do if it calls you, do it anyway. You know, I coined this phrase years ago. Do it anyway. A buddy of mine, about the same time I was starting my business, I was having a lot of problems in my life. I was probably, it was before I started my business. I was still in Houston, Texas. I was going through tremendous, tremendous amounts of uncertainty, doubt about myself. I was in a transition, a career transition. I just lost a job, starting my deal. And I went one year, one year without working. I've never ever shared this before. One year and I did not, I mean, I had a little bit of money saved and I was going through it. I didn't, I didn't literally, I, I looked like I was working every day, but in truth I was not working. My twin brother actually knew that and finally confronted me and that's what got me off my ass. But this guy told me, he's like, look, you wake up in the morning and no matter what you're feeling, no matter how much you hurt, if your eyes are bleeding, do it anyway. And that has stuck with me now for 30, 27, 28 years. Do it anyway, no matter how it feels, do it anyway. So number one, get a little closer. Number two, do it anyway. And then number three, okay? Regardless of the outcome of what you did when you showed up to present, make that phone call, uh, go to the workout. Once you get in there, come on, man. Put all, you put out, put, give, it, give it the best shot you got. Once you're in there, once you're in there, once you get going, just start moving in that direction. Like I just went, jumped on that thing for three minutes. The next thing you know, I'm like, hey, I'm glad I'm in here. So third thing, once you get in there, go all the way, okay? I'm gonna do that right now. God bless you, hope you're doing well. Hope you're finding greatness in your life. Struggle through, push through. Remember, just get a little closer Two, do it anyway. Three, once you get in there, put your back into it, put your ass into it, put your head into it, just get into it. Cause it's probably gonna be easier once you show up uh, to do that than if you had it. If you get to number three and you're having struggles, remember when you leave, at least you showed up. At least you gave it something. And then do that again tomorrow, okay? God bless, be great, 10X everything.